Hello Buzzacults, my name is HotzoC and welcome back to Beltless uh, Factorio. We are producing a blue um, circuits, but I think our setup here is a bit um, unbalanced as we do have certain chests that go to assemblers that basically are filled with the input items um, but we do not really use the, the whole spread of uh, the items that we could produce. So probably this setup or this layout is not as good as uh, this one over here. However, even for this one, we have not yet tested it out, but here we have separate lines for all the items and uh, everywhere where we have a chest that uh, is filled by more than one item, we restrict the inserting uh, with a bit of uh, logic here. So I would expect this setup should work while this is just too slow. Um, so I think we will have to replace this setup with uh, with the better one. And while doing so, I also want to uh, get rid of this uh, green and red setup and have it that way. And probably we will build something in here. Uh, then we could, for example, if that would be the green one we could rip that out have the red one here and then free up this space um, for something else because what i think would be great is if we have here in the middle a bit more space so we basically can have a, a high speed line for the rail uh, going left and right and then maybe also somewhere something uh, that goes up and down um, that should hopefully also uh, help a bit with our um, traffic jams on the rails. However, what I want to do today is make a step further um, looking at uh, our power setup we're still good but i see that this bar here where we are loading the accumulators is getting longer again so we do not yet have the the covarex uh, enrichment but I think that's not really uh, necessary. Um, we can uh, try to uh, uh, have something set up here. So that's where we get out. That's where we get in. And then um, we probably want to have something like this. Um, there we have these ones. There we have those. Oh. And we need to bring this one closer. OK, 
Okay. And then, oh, uh, here we probably can have normal inserters. And then, have it this way. And we want to Okay, here we probably will need a bit more uh, space for that. Then we can have it that way. But in this chest, um, So, here we want to have less than a stack and less than a stack. Maybe what we should do is yeah, that does not work out. Okay, let's reset that. Um, Less than a stack. And Maybe have that on all of these. Mm. And then here should have this. And then that okay and then down here we can have this Um, for now, we will just have to deliver iron by hand. Okay, okay. That, that will not work. So. Okay. 
let's add this wire to there to there to there so if we have less than uh, 50 uh, dark green in the lowest chest then we move them down so basically everything will trickle down here and usually we sh should see these chests uh, empty and then here we will have the the output right so now to the difficult part of um, designing ourselves a reactor well, i think let's start here somewhere in the middle with our reactor core and we need an input we need an output if we do it that way we can have like this ooh what if we do it that way then here and here uh, and there and there So that would mean we have an in out line here and could have the same thing on the other side. Um, running out of chests and let's collect a bit of wood here can add a few more chests so If we then have, that does not really solve my problem. Because what I actually wanted to do is have the, the wiring going from one side to the other. Uh, for that, we would have to align the, the two sides. So, what we probably can do because we want to have as short a way as, as possible. So, Ooh, and it even aligns nicely. That would mean here on this side we can have uh, the uh, the turbines 
And here we will just have uh, the, uh, the steam, the heat exchange. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and we need forty eight in total. So that means on one on this side we need uh, eight more, um, sixteen more. 8 plus 16 is 24, 2 times 24, uh, that's uh, um, 48. All right, so that should mean four on each side nice and that should actually minimize the lengths of the um, of the heat pipe and then we will have two here in the back. And then another row. And here in between we can have uh, oh let's let's have two rows. Here on the side we need uh, to supply uh, water and. I guess we do it that way. However, we will also have the same setup on the uh, outer side. So let me grab a few pipes um, so that I can uh, uh, connect everything up. Um, I, we will need a few tanks. And then I can copy everything uh, once it's completed over to the other side. And I will also bring a bit of iron so we can make some fuel cells. And we need to set up power. The whole thing is set up. We have some tanks here on all sides and uh, everything connected up to uh, uh, our circuit network. Uh, there we control it on the input. If we have more or if we have less than 1000 uh, um, steam, then we will uh, actually input something uh, and probably we should restrict that to uh, one cell so that we do not uh, put too much in and uh, I mean the way to get the things in and out is a bit messy with this uh, uh, chest belt line here we already have a setup for the um, for the uh, used fuel cells so all that needs to be done here is put in the iron there and then we should see 
some fuel cells coming out and I'm not sure where they will go ah yeah because uh, we are making 10 uh, per um, oh, would probably help to have all the all the the inserters there so everything goes through uh, it's stuck there and there so what are we missing oh this one wants to be this way around this way around this um it's the other way around that's out that's out that's out that's out so we need to hook these up and not the red ones right and then here on this side we probably have the same problem so let's disconnect here reconnect there turn these around turn these around and all our nuclear reactors are fueled uh, we are getting already a bit of uh, heat out of it however we need um, what do we need 500 degrees yes 500 degrees so of course the ones closest here towards the middle those will be the first one that will go off but the others uh, I would imagine will soon follow now question is ah oh, let's make this a green wire because with the red wire we also get the number of uh, the uranium we have down here plus the uranium we might have in here but for uh, this uh, light green the 235 we only want to know uh, what's in there and the rest should go down and if we have uh, uh, backed up to to here uh, then either we have a problem or we have enough uh, uranium 3 uh, to uh, 35 we are not quite there yet it's the temperature as you can see we have water pipes uh, all around and they are coming from uh, from up here but we should soon see uh, uh, first turbines going on as we are reaching 500 degrees celsius And there we have the first steam. Uh, 
and the temperatures is going further up and the thing here is we are we have quite a lot of uh, energy now so that we uh, do not really need our uh, solar panel array but currently we uh, we will still uh, uh, produce uh, solar power uh, because we have that in place but now we also have nuclear power uh, which is a good thing because now we do not need to worry about running out of uh, power anytime soon and uh, next time we will probably tackle our circuit uh, problem so that we might get something uh, to have delivered here all right that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, also tune in next time for more beltless factoria see ya